Hello everyone. Today we are going to continue subtracting in math. We will not use our counters today. We are going to do the work on the picture to help us solve our problems. So our big question is how can you solve subtraction word problems and complete the subtraction sentence? So here's our subtraction sentence. We have to figure out how we know what numbers go where and why. All right, so first, like everything, I'm going to read the math problem, and then we'll start answering the question. There are five fish. One fish swims away. How many fish are left? Okay, so how many fish are in the set? When we all started, we started with five fish. So let's do our five, trace the five. All right, and how many fish swam away? One fish swam away. So the way we're going to show that is we will circle one fish and we'll put an X on it. That tells us that fish has left the set. So we had five fish, one left. So we'll do minus one equals, and we need to count and see how many fish are still left. So let's count our fish. One, two, three, four. And we can trace our four. All right. Okay, let's turn the page. Okay, let's look at number one. Let me get my word problem here. Number one, there are five crab, crabs. Two crabs crawl away. How many crabs are left? So how many crabs are in the set? One, two, three, four, five. So we'll write that in the first line. Minus, and how many crabs left? Two. So we'll circle our two and put a big X on it to show that they left. So if we start with five in our set and two leave, how many are left? Five minus two equals, so how many are left? One, two, three. There are still three crabs there. So five minus two equals three. Five crabs minus two that left equals three. Okay, let's look at our turtles right here. There are four turtles. One turtle walks away. How many turtles are there now? All right, let's start with how many are there in the set? One, two, three, four. So we can trace our four because there's four in the set. And how many turtles walked away? Minus and it was one, so let's circle one turtle, put an X on them, and trace our one. So we have four minus one equals, how many turtles are left? So we can count the ones that do not have an X on it. One, two, three. Okay, let's go to the next math problem. These are lobsters. There are four lobsters. Three lobsters crawl away. How many lobsters are left? So we can count one, two, three, four lobsters to start with. 
tray star four for how many start the set? Minus how many left? Three, so we can circle three. One, two, three. These are the lobsters that left. Three lobsters left. So let's trace our three that left. Four minus three equals how many did not leave? How many did we not put an X on? One. Okay, let's turn the page. And here we are with some dolphins. Let me turn the page for mine. Or whales, we have some whales. There are five whales. One, two, three, four, five. Five whales. Three whales swim away. How many whales are left? So we counted our five whales. One, two, three, four, five whales that we started with. And how many left? Three. So we're going to circle three. Put a big old X on them. So five minus three equals... And how many are left? We started with five, three left. How many do we still have? One, two. Two. And let's read our math problem. Five, it's just like when we're reading words, we'll put our fingers under it. Five minus three equals two. Okay, let's look at our next one, number five. There are three fish. Two fish swim away. How many fish are left? So how many do we start with? One, two, three. There's our three that we started with. Two leave. So let's trace our subtraction, our minus. Circle the two. Put an X on them. We started with three, two left, three minus two, three minus our two equals how many are left? One. And let's read our math problem. Three minus two equals one. One. You notice how this number is smaller than the number we start with? That's subtraction. Okay, number six. Here's the dolphins. There are five dolphins. Four dolphins swim away. How many dolphins are left? So we have our five dolphins. So we can trace our five. Four dolphins swim away. So we can circle our four, put a big old X on them. Five minus four equals, and how many dolphins are left? One. Five minus four equals one. Okay, let's look at number seven. Kristen has four flowers. She gives her friend two flowers. How many flowers does Kristen have now? So we can start with our four. You can draw circles or you can draw shapes for your flowers. But she needs four flowers to start with. All right, 
There's our four flowers that she started with. So we can trace our four. She started with four flowers. She gives her friend two flowers. So we can circle the two she gives away. Put an X on them. Four minus two equals, and how many does she have left? One, two. She has two flowers left. And there you go. Okay, number eight. There are four snails. One, two, three, four. One snail crawls away. There's the one that crawled away. How many snails are left? So what is four minus one? One, two, three. Okay, when you are finished, take a picture of it and send it to me.